Glad you're with us. Ken Daniels alongside Mickey Redmond in the broadcast booth. The Red Wings haven't lost to the Islanders. They're past eight meetings, seven wins and a tie, and have won the last five here at the Joe. Our Chrysler Jeep Superstore Netminders, 24-year-old Rick DiPietro, selected first overall in 2000. First goalie to go first, appearing in his 21st game. He was backup for the Islanders last two. And as we mentioned off the top, starting his third straight National Hockey League game, Jimmy Howard. Into the Islanders, Captain Yashin. And a save made with the left pad by Howard. Another shot, they score. From a weird angle, Yashin beat Howard from practically the goal line, and it's a 1-1 tie. Well, it goes to show you. You got nothing else to do with it. Throw it to the front of the net. Jim Howard still doesn't know how this shot went in, but it hit him on the inside of the pad and banked back with backspin into the net. And Alexi Yashin, who we talked about on the top of the show, gets his 12th goal of the year. Impossible angle, but not really. And it's tied at one. Asham, will he get an assist? Yeah, probably. That rebound went off Howard. Actually, that shot came from behind the goal line, and it hit Howard. Uh, block. Lake shot stop rebound. They score. Mike York. The former Spartan has given the Islanders the lead, two to one, with 3:41 to play. Well, the Red Wings got into a difficult situation off the faceoff, Ken, on the short side here. And there was some confusion on where to go. And this puck comes off Jim Howard right onto the stick of York and a wide open net. You're not going to miss that kind of chance, but Red Wings would probably lament the fact that the shot should never have been gotten through that clearly. Moving in, Lindstrom takes Hunter down. Another shot just sailed wide. Four seconds. Eisenman over to get it. In front penalty coming, but it won't matter. This game is over. The New York Islanders win at Joe Lewis Arena for the first time since the 97-98 season. They'd been 0-5, and they come up with a victory despite being outshot, Mick, 36-28. Well, it was a good road game for the Islanders after 40 minutes. We pointed that out. Red Wings had a very good first period but couldn't seem to get it back on track after that, and then it became